Chinese automakers like Xiaopeng or Xpeng, they have been talking about the new, the new artificial intelligence chips, the new ultra powerful, incredibly powerful chips that are designed to provide the kind of power that you need to have a real genius brain that can help to drive your car, can help to make it think, can do everything better, can do everything faster, but importantly, can enable the car to drive itself in the future. Now, these chips that automakers have been revealing are much faster, technically faster than Tesla's current chips that it's using for full self-driving, or basically it's version four chips. And here's the thing, Tesla now say their new chip could be 30 times better than the existing one in their EVs, which to be honest, is already incredibly impressive. I mean, the truth is Tesla's full self-driving is definitely better than any other automaker in the world, especially in the United States where it's particularly trained for. But this new chip from Tesla is orders of magnitude better. So what exactly does this mean? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. Tesla just revealed their new A15 chip. The numbers are staggering. The leap in performance is not small. It's, um, well, it seems to be several generations above the current chip. Musk described the new A15 chip as having a 40x improvement in some metrics over the already powerful HW4 chip or hardware 4 chip, framing the A15 chip as an absolute monster piece of hardware, which will eventually serve as the foundation for advancements in full self-driving and also in robotics. This chip won't just be used for cars, cyber cabs, robo taxis. It'll be used in Tesla's bot or its humanoid robot. AI a15 isn't just an incremental update. It's an architectural step change. So Tesla has learned a lot since developing its hardware three and its hardware four chips. And it now has a, a much better understanding of what it needs to completely solve for self-driving. Does it need a new chip? Can it be done with hardware four? I think it can, but I think this chip will be, well, orders of magnitude better. A15 will address the hardware bottlenecks Tesla is currently facing with hardware 4, says not a Tesla app. During a podcast where Musk talked about this chip, he revealed that A15 will have eight times more raw compute power than hardware 4, and it'll include nine times more memory. Since hardware 4 includes 16 gigabyte of RAM, that means the new chip will have 144 gigabyte of memory in built into it essentially. Now AI is very memory hungry, also very energy hungry. And so, and you would think, right, that this could be an issue because you'd think if the chip is so much more powerful than Tesla's existing chip, is it going to use a lot of energy? Now the previous chip that Tesla, well, the current hardware four chip, basically the, the big thing, the big deal with that, about that chip is that Tesla said it would use less energy than other chips. And that was what their focus was on. We haven't heard from Tesla if this new super powerful chip that is orders of magnitude better than the current HW4, we haven't heard how much energy it will use. And of course, Tesla's vehicles are exceptionally efficient. They're really probably the most efficient cars that you can currently buy. But if they've got these super powerful chips in them, could that mean the efficiency actually goes down because those chips would suck a lot of energy? Now, I don't know, but I'm guessing that Tesla are, uh, you know, having to consider that in the design of the A15. Musk revealed the memory bandwidth in A15 will be improved by five times over hardware four. That's also another big change. Other improvements. There are some pretty incredible gains um, that I've just mentioned, but the true genius of the chip says not a Tesla app lies in its specialized design. That 40X improvement, well, in some metrics, comes from how the chip handles specific computationally intensive operations that are bottlenecks in the current system. In other words, the key issue is, Tesla are not necessarily trying to design the fastest chip for bragging rights. They're trying to design a chip that actually can do the job they need it to do. And that's a little bit different. A key mathematical function called softmax will run natively 
in fewer steps on A15, and the chip will be able to dynamically handle mixed precision models much more efficiently. This type of specialized optimization is only possible when the teams designing the hardware and the software are working completely together, and it's not being done in two separate areas. A15 is expected to enable the next generation of full self-driving software in Tesla's cars, and what the, I mean, it, to me, it sounds so good. You kind of think to yourself, well, do I even want to buy a Tesla today if this new chip's going to be so good? Tesla has previously shared that it will be able to achieve unsupervised full self-driving on hardware 4, but here's the thing. If that is the case, why do they need a chip that is in some measurements 40 times better? It wouldn't seem like that would be necessary. Now, I actually think full self-driving is remarkable, and I think Tesla can solve it on hardware 4. That's just my kind of my thoughts based on my observation of many videos and seeing many people do daily trips with full self-driving in the United States. In Australia, to be honest, it's not very good yet, but in the United States, it's remarkably good. Once A15 is released, Tesla will not be limited though by compute or memory, much like when they diverged from hardware three. Now, once Tesla trained and built models exclusively for hardware four, they were able to increase model sizes and parameters as they no longer needed to support hardware three. So this could help to actually enable Tesla to do more than what they could previously, or in fact, than what they can today when it comes to updates to full self-driving. Tesla still wants to have, wants to basically, well, is fully committing and saying it will solve unsupervised full self-driving on the current HW4 chip, or it will offer a free upgrade. Now, free upgrades are going to be pretty damn expensive if you try to retrofit all of Tesla's cars. Yeah, and there is currently class action lawsuit here in Australia with thousands of plaintiffs saying, you know, we paid for this, we paid for these features for full self-driving, we don't have it, and this is... You know, Tesla haven't delivered on what they said they'd deliver on. I think they will. I think they won't. I, I, I don't think um, Tesla intends to defraud consumers. I think they intend to give them what they said that they would. But it's, it's definitely taking longer than I think anyone thought it would. This powerful new chip, though, is what will run future builds of full self-driving, including even larger models than the upcoming 10x parameter model intended for hardware 4. If you're wondering what this 10x parameter model is, and what is Tesla talking about here? Well, it was posted on X that full self-driving version 14 will be Tesla's second biggest update after full self-driving 12. Full self-driving 12 was a huge update that merged the street and highway stacks and added end-to-end -end AI to the highway stack. So in other words, Tesla's saying this update to full self-driving version 14 will be pretty revolutionary. It's eliminate. Now, version 12 update, right? It actually eliminated the steering wheel nag by introducing vision-based driver monitoring and added the improved suspension that automatically removes a strike after a week of self of basically of safe driving. In addition to those improvements, it made lane changes more natural, added the new driving profiles and made full self-driving smoother and more natural. And I actually got the chance to test this in the United States. And I've got to admit, I thought it was amazing. I thought it could drive better than I could. I was just blown away by how good it was when I tested it there in Los Angeles. So the fact that full staff driving version four will be nearly as significant an update as version 12 seems remarkable. And now Tesla are saying it makes the car feel like it's alive. That's what Musk is saying. I'm not sure about that. And he's also claiming there will be 10X more parameters and video improvements. Musk talked about full self-driving version 14, saying it will use 10 times more parameters than version 13, eliminating really any hope that hardware three vehicles will actually get this update because hardware three wouldn't be able to run it. But the upside is this will make full self-driving for current owners of hardware four cars. Well, it'll make it much, much better. The question is, what do you guys think? Is a, this new A15 chip necessary for full unsupervised driving? Is it necessary? Now, I don't actually think it is, but it sounds amazing. But what's kind of got me thinking now, what about A16? I've heard Tesla's actually already working on the A16 chip, the one after the A15 chip. What on earth is that gonna be able to do? Read our minds, interface with our brains, tell what we're thinking? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.